I'm Simon. And I'm Hannah. So it's been a pretty long time since we last filmed. Mm -hmm. And a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. Our lives have completely changed since the last time we filmed. It's currently the 21st of September. And I think the last time we filmed was end of July, start of August. Oh dear. So yeah, quite a lot has changed. Thought we'd sit down, tell you a little bit about what's been going on in our lives and show you some of the stuff that we've been filming over the past few weeks. Yeah. So at the start of August, we quit our jobs. We did. And then we spent most of August just prepping the van, didn't we? Making sure we were ready to go. We were figuring out all the storage solutions. Mm -hmm. Well, you were. We both were. Um, it was a struggle trying to figure out how to fit basically all our belongings into such a small space. Tiny boxes rather than big boxes. That was yeah, the Yeah, all the boxes that we showed you a couple of videos ago, I think we use one of those now. Yeah. They're too big. They it's all about compartmentalisation. Yes, it is. <laughs> but then, 22nd of August, we set off. We did. Our first point of call, is that a saying? That is a saying. Our first point of call was in the Midlands, where Simon's from. So we left the lakes and drove all the way down to the Midlands, stayed there for a couple of days to see your friends and family. And then we went up to Birmingham for like 10 days, didn't we? And um, we stayed on our friend's driveway which mm -hmm. we're very grateful for. It was a very gentle transition into van life because it was the longest time we spent living in the van and doing everything in the van. Um, but we also had access to our friend's toilet, spare toilet and bathroom. So that was quite a nice way to uh, transition from living in a house to then living in a van without yeah. a toilet, but we still had access to mm -hmm. one. I was recording most of that time. Mm -hmm doing recording some singles which maybe you'll hear in the next month check out Ryan music that was pretty cool our friends just built a studio in his garden so we were using that just to get three songs done and then we were prepping for the next load of stuff which is like 15 songs first album after your ep yeah so that'll be out in like four years <laughs> yeah so after 10 days camped in the garden we went back down to the Malvern Hills and spent about a week there mm -hmm. um, again visiting some of your friends and family and we also did some nice walking around that area. We went and saw the sunrise mm -hmm. on top of the Malvern Hills. It was beautiful. It was pretty nice, wasn't it? Yes. Um, we didn't get all the way to the top because we were very tired. Mm -hmm. Well, we did. Just... We did, but not before sunrise. Yeah, which yeah. is fine. It's totally fine. Yeah. Still sorry. And we also had to sort of plan what we were going to do for the next couple of weeks because we had no idea at that point. No idea. But we opened the map and we landed on the Peak District. Yeah. So for the past, well, I guess two weeks, We've been in the Peak District. We've been traveling around in Betsy, going to lots of different places and finding wild camping sites on a couple of different apps. So we've been using Park for Night. And then also we managed to find a website with a Google Maps that has a plot for every single wild camping spot and also pubs that allow you to stay overnight um, as well. So we've kind of dipped into both of those to find our spots for where we camp for the night, um, which has worked really well. Yeah. Just got to make sure that we don't park on any land that you're not allowed to park on. Yeah. Um, make sure you take all your rubbish and, and waste with you. Yeah. Um, but it's worked really well. We've yeah. felt pretty safe. We've parked in some incredible places. And the first two nights parked at the Roaches, which were just... It was Just really nice rocks. Yeah. We um, were parked directly under Ramshaw Rocks. There's a little lay-by by there. And we actually ended up staying there for two nights. Yeah. Just because I didn't feel like we climbed all the rocks that we could have. No, we had to climb every, every single rock. And that was really close to Leek and Buxton, which was great for just like going in 
for a little adventure, topping up on supplies. We just made sure that we had enough food and water with us for like two days and made sure to find out where the closest public toilets were for mm. when we uh, were in, you know, desperate need of, an, of a, you know. Mm -hmm. After the roaches, we just sort of travelled up through the Peak District, didn't we? Was yeah, we travelled through Buxton and then we kind of found another camping spot I don't really know where it was, no to be idea honest. where it was. Lovely. Just somewhere in the middle of the Peak District. But yeah. it was great. Again, we found that on park for night. And we stayed there, had some nice walks. We even went to the pub for the first time since we've left. We then found another really nice camping spot um, by a reservoir. And there were lots of other campers there. there they were. were lovely. They were really nice. Yeah, it feels really safe when there's other campers parked next to you and you mm. can have a little chat. It's yeah. just nice to like be in that little space together and know that everybody's like on different journeys, but you're all there for the same reason, because mm -hmm. we've got a little camper van. Mm -hmm. And one of our favorite camping spots was mm -hmm. a little lay-by on Snake Path, because just down the hill, there was a river. That was sort of our shower, well, much it needed was. shower. It'd been yeah. quite a few days since we'd had a proper wash. We'd had our baby wipe washes. Yeah, a little, you know. So that was magical. She really, it was a special moment for us, I think. Mm -hmm. Very healing to be with, just sat in the stream, letting the water surround you. Connect with the earth. Yeah. I really liked it. Thank you. Since then, we've been here. Which is at my family's house in the Peak District. I think we're going to be here for about a week. Mm -hmm. Betsy's currently in the garage having a service. Mm -hmm. I think she's absolutely fine. She just needs a service. She's yeah. an old, an old mobile. So yeah, whilst we're here, we're basically trying to figure out the next month or so of our life. In the UK, the lockdown restrictions are changing constantly. So it's kind of difficult to know where we're supposed to be or how this affects us moving between county. In the next month, we kind of want to be up in Scotland, don't we? So our plan now is to head up to Scotland when the weather's kind of getting a bit colder, mid-October onwards. We're planning to to check in and do some volunteering for a couple of months. Mm. Whoever will have us. The sites we've been looking on are Workaway and Woofing. We're basically putting out feelers for that. Yeah, see who will take us on. We'll do anything. Yes, but if anybody has any suggestions for a volunteering project that we could help out with in Scotland, please let us know. So yeah, thanks for all the love on the last video. I really enjoyed making that one, so mm -hmm. it's quite nice that um, people have appreciated it. But yeah, we hope everybody's doing well. Mm -hmm. We'll try and film more whilst we're here. It's just been such a busy couple of months, our lives completely uprooting, but it's been an incredible couple of months. We're really, really lucky to be in the situation that we're in and have the freedom to distance ourselves from most people we're not putting ourselves in situations where we could spread anything or be a harm to anybody yeah yeah so until next time take care and goodbye